Uh, hey, V. About to start. You, uh, you got to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. All righty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right, uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol, but uh, a, a real nice one. Fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Worked up. Ready? Three, two, hey, hey, the hell is that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Uh, I forgot my iron. It must be in my other jacket. And that's where you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight, now! Fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. All right. Three, two, one. Sight now. Thanks, Wilson. It sure is pretty. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not call them potential buyers Bush League. Yeah, maybe, but. Fuck! Good something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it! Ugh. Take care, V. I'll see you around.
Unfortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without hey, suffering any losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the Nomad's case. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. Got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot. Your client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. 
Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Want him dead why, exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get-out-of-jail-free card. Over my dead fucking body. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? Unimportant. Unimportant? <laughs> the same thing they told me when I wanted to know his real name. The dirtbag who killed her. I... There they are! Step on it! Stay on him! Don't let him get away! The damn car! Fuck! Break! I said! Break! This is it. Let's go. Stay close. I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez, NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. What? Olga, we've got a situation. Somebody what? just tried you to drop us, You want me to come door. with you? That psycho's out hiring <laughs> professionals. It I was need only you. a matter of time. You're out of your fucking mind. Gregor, hey, another word for Busted you and an I attempted hit on my me. guy. Don't make me ruin yeah. your career. One cash. Nobody. He'll jump and I mean no nobody. Price. But run a deep sweep just to be sure on your head. I'm just. Uh, Thanks. I owe you. No patrol you. car. And stay off the frequencies too. Can't have this coming back. 
You're insane if you think I'm getting in that car. What a fuck? I just, I am. Drop it, dickhead. I really need you. Listen. Please. Fucking listen. Ditch the dick. We gotta go. Go. Boy from the precinct. No, he's coming with us here. He has to. Why do you need me? Why so badly? What's your name? First, you're gonna tell me what the hell is going on. But I can explain. Just don't go. I I need you. It's okay. You don't need to tell me. My name is Joshua Stevenson. And your associate? What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. Ah, Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right, I'll go with you. Uh, move it! We're running late! Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Don't feel like talking about it. Hmm. Well, then let me speak. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. I still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. I'll check it out. Yes sir, you have my word. I still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Don't like Rachel. She's got the gift of the gab, surely. I'm merely a springboard for her career. <laughs> a high value asset. You're the one I want to talk to. You know, still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong. I'm out. No one will force you to stay. We're almost at Gloria LMR's. Give me a moment, I need to prepare. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule.
Zuleika? You're... late. I... found a companion... along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V. Meet Zuleika. Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told him anything? We just met. There wasn't time. You really are insane. Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? I'm good. Thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You're the reason Joshua found redemption. It was her letter that started everything. I lost a brother. God gave me another. I'm not buying it, not at all. You believe in a merciful God, yet he allowed for your brother's murder. Let it happen. I grieved for Reuben. You cannot know how much. I wanted him back. But then God showed me his plan, and I found peace. The Lord knows I regret killing Reuben, but if not for him, I never would have found the path to God. We can't know the paths of divine providence. Do you believe in God, V? Sure, I believe. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page five. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindon studio vultures record his agony as he's being crucified. This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them! 
and think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? This who we've been waiting for? Yes. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! Had enough of this, Josh. Wait! No, count me out. <laughs> you killed my child! Ah, my shit! I'm Mrs. Elamar, please! Went dark near to Just go, go, please! Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. Processing plant, deserted end cart station. In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait.
beauty. So, you got a plan? Damn right, I do. I'm over to mine tonight. I'm lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni. Lots of extra cheese. Atta boy. So, I'll see you come evening? Of course I'll be there. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. <laughs> He's got the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? <laughs> Whatever you want. B? Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. And how you aim to manage that? While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Right. Then what? I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. 
If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. He's soccer scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. There's no time this to waste. This your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. 
Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't. I'm a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Decided to double the amount of our active security forces. President Myers has called this a He bridge. eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete the power. And they surrendered it to me. him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Sapoto Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Well, tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man, the strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, I think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today.
I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Got eyes in the comm system. It's a lot of guards. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. any other it is the first animal I see in night city except cockroaches of course first it was birds then dogs 
Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanical. A bacchanical? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic lets you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum, Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama has a matched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for, this was most important. You dirty your hands for money, I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Save Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once.
tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. I'm here. Very well. I have reached the roof. I'll be in their communication system soon.
I'm in. Find the largest float. They are controlled from inside. That tech, it could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I'll reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick. I've got this.
Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha. <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me! The roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough already.
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Respect. A feed in itself from what I've seen of the place. Just been lucky, I guess. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Hello? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Not convinced. If I'm to count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Like, wanna spar? What else? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some me? cardio! If you got something to say, just say it. Hello, Who, me? This is my impressed face. <laughs> nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, <laughs> you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. 
Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claus will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claus trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him in the street, like while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in the back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? He's probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security. So one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Sometimes treated sharp words. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Oh. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. All right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Ugh. Uh, v, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? It's past. Forget about it. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Eradicated in a matter of minutes. A 
and a symbol of fate awaits any for the day who strays too close to the sudden edge of the life and the world A parade will soon start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay?
A Kang Tao AV has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of B, just in time. Hey, Goro. Wow, you look like a million eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a scat burger. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what you think, tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Wait, if things go to shit, we got a backup plan. What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. I... I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All the while ignoring one crucial element, your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. You're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. 